Hey, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use theory CSS by building um, theory UIs. Alright, so basically, we're going to be building, uh, first one we're going to be building is this component, UI component. So don't worry, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can, you know, get these Figma designs. So we are going to be building this first, then followed by this. All right, and the last, not the list is gonna be this one. We're gonna be building here, all right? So basically, if you are out for this, uh, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. All right. All right. So for this, as usual, we have to create a new file. So I'm gonna open up my terminal. Go inside my document. So I'm using the terminal because I want to open. Um, we shall see the code through the folder here. So, go to my document. I'm gonna create a new folder called Theory, theory Project. So you can name it anything you want. Alright, so this is my project mm -hmm. name, and I'm gonna see the inside theory, theory Project. Sorry about my spelling, Theory Project. Alright, so I'm just gonna clear this. I'll put this in code. I'm gonna open this up in um, Visual Studio Code. All right. Um, in the meantime, I have um, the Win website opened already. So for this first part of the tutorial, I'm gonna be making use of the CDN. So head over to tvcs.com slash doc slash installation. Then head over and click on this place, please CDN. So we're gonna be creating, copying this index.html code here. So we're gonna be making use of the CDN um, from tvcs in the next tutorials. I'm gonna be making use of um, the CLI using Node.js to install the CSS. All right. Once um this is open, okay, it's opening. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Once it's open, what we want to do is um we can go ahead and do it from this place. You can go ahead and create a new directory, or you can use the Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and call it the first project. You can see I'm creating the directory inside the uh, inside the T3 project. So if you are doing that, make sure you are inside the project folder, or you can just go over here create a folder like this. So we're gonna create a folder here. Okay. Um sorry. Alright, so alright, so the project has been created. So inside this project here, what I want to do is create a file called index.html. Alright, so we're making use of this and uh, let's get a paste exactly what I do this a copy from the web page, which is um the HTML stuff I told you earlier, which is um this copy this and uh, let's paste it here all right good so i'm gonna close this so let's save this let's save this i'm going to run this with um live server so if you don't have live server installed you can go ahead and install live server through your extension in this place and so just search for live server you're gonna see it so this will automatically open up the project in our, in our browser for us so you can see we have the wind working already okay so the first thing we need to consider is head over back to the UI. I've deleted that. Head over back to the UI, which is this. So initially, I think we should center this. So let's make this because I want to create this border along with it. So let's go ahead and create a div. So a div will be the roots. So let's go ahead and do class of um, grid. So we want to make it a grid system. Then we do place item center. So if I should go ahead and write in a text here like a low word save this and i ever head over back there you're gonna see we have it in the center but i'm gonna put this there but basically this is not what i what i actually want sorry move this okay, so i can switch so i want this other word to be in the center also here so for that i can just go ahead and specify something called h screen All right let's specify basically it, 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 see what happened now so if you don't understand some classes here you can head over to documentation and just search for what it do so i a screen is actually height so i think yeah which is used to make to span up the entire space you can actually read about it to make an animal span the entire space of the viewport exactly so we have an h h screen already so you can see the center like i said so like i said we need to create this round border store so inside a grid of course um, inside the grid, of course, let's go ahead and create a div. So, this div is going to be hosting the stuff. So, let's go ahead and make this a rounded 
MD. And you can see this is rounded all around with a background color of white. Right, so background color of white, and you can see the background color of Figma is not white. So I think we should change the background color of our of our website so as to see the white background that we are specifying. So let's make this uh I think we should make this BG gray 500. All right, beautiful. So since we have that PG white, um we can just go ahead and do padding of let's say two. So we have the padding inside of it too, then let's specify a width. So you can specify a width of 500 pixels. All right, so when you are specifying a width, you can either do something like this with 32, which are 32 is the number that comes with theme CSS by default. But in case you don't, uh, yeah, what you are trying to, the number you are trying to figure out is not actually in the list of number that comes with theme CSS. You can use something called arbitrary value, which is what I use in this case. You can see the 500 pixels. I just wrap it in a bracket. All right, so you can put in any number you want. Good. All right, so let's save this and check it out. All right, you can see we have nothing because I did gray, not I wrote Gary, not gray. Sorry about that. So let's save this. That's about good. You can see we now have this. Now, so as we continue to add in stuff, don't worry, it's going to expand as expected. So the first we need is this avatar right here. So for the avatar, I think we can go ahead and export this. Um, nope. Is this instead? Yeah. So I'm not very good at at um Figma. So this is it. So export this. Why that is exporting in your folder? Don't forget to always create it. Don't forget to always structure your code, your projects. We're gonna create it. I'm gonna copy this. So not copy actually. Open this and. So we can just copy this, right? I think I'll paste it right here. All right, that doesn't work. Uh, what if I try and drag and drop this side here? Yeah, so it cannot be because we've not extracted it. So basically, just extract it. So I start it my document. There's a new folder for it, which is Figma Element. And it is done. So let's go back to Documents. Look at Figma Element. Here we have it. So inside of here, I'm just gonna paste it here. So drag this and paste it here. All right, good. So since we have that now, basically we can go ahead and do. Sorry, what we want here. Let's go ahead and do image src. Then we can go ahead and do images slash this. Save this and let's see what we have. So this is exactly what we have. So let's go ahead and add a class. Like I said, you can add arbitrary values. I think I must, I'm going to stick with 50 pixels right here for the width. Save this and let's see what happens. To small, let's add over and do 100 pixels. I think let's close enough. So 119, they did 119 here. Yeah. Um, so let's do 119 and see what happens. All right, good. I think that's close enough. And I think we need to specify more space here. So let's add space of four. Okay, mouse padding and let's make this more rounded. So let's do LG. So that's rounded large. Or uh, let's do XL. That's extra large. Okay. Extra large seems okay. And you notice our images is, is centered. So to I'm um, sorry, to do that, of course, I think you've guessed what we are gonna do. You can make it a grid. So let's cut this out. Oh, we don't actually don't need, we don't need to cut this so we can i think we can go ahead and do read and do place item center here yeah? so save this see the center so anything we add next will be in the center also so we want to create this all right so right down there once you go ahead and have a padding top no no oh wait let's just leave it don't add a padding top here you're not sure we're gonna do so let's add a div so for this div you can see it is rounded as expected. Let's do rounded, but this time let's make it medium. And what color is this? We can I think we can grab a color from this place. Um, okay, this is a color. So, how do we use this color in TV senses? So, so, it is a background color. We can do BG, also pass arbitrary values. So delete this background, it's not needed. And voila, there you have it. Okay, so you have rounded MDBG, that's our color. 
and the taxes i think the taxes are up or so yeah so it's just purple copy to clipboard so for the same thing for text also this is working now i think we can just specify something like px of two and py so that is padding horizontal and padding vertical pi of 0 0.5 so in case our text is longer, it will always you know, fit the size. So let's do Pro. I just save this and I add over back there. You can see we have this. I think we can increase our PX. So let's make it 6 instead. Alright, I think 6, six is okay. Good. Now why I said we should add padding top? Because since this is grid already, we can go ahead and do something like space Y of 3. Which initially add a space. Um, You can see. I think yeah, which add the space vertically, so it will do that for us. Okay, so once that is done, we want to add a name. So I'm just gonna copy this name here. Alright, so right here, I believe this needs like an extra space, so we can go ahead and add a padding top. Let's do span. The text seems bold, so let's do font bold. Sorry. Now let's paste this here. I think the color is also this color here. Save this and exactly. So the padding top of two is too much. Let's make it one. I will make it one. Alright, seems okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Seems okay. Then we have one the UI UI designer. So one the UI designer. We can just put this like inside here to so instead of that, I can make this also a grid so as to just separate them easily. I can do span. That is a small text. And the font is thin. You can see you can see the UI previously. The font is thin. Pasting this, I believe we still have the same color. So we have a thin text. Check it out. Good. So we have that. And you can see it's not moving like we expected. We can go ahead and look something like text center we can go ahead and do that grid place um, item center so let's try the text center first okay so text center works we don't need to try that and this is text sm to make it a small text okay so the next we need to do is um this text here copy this i think this now we can go ahead and do div the padding top of one and then i span so Inside our span, you can save this. All right, you, can, you notice the color is different. So, copy this and let's do it and do class text should be this color. Don't forget the ash. Save this and let's check it out. I see we have this color here and text should be small and one should be thin, just like the previous one. All right, good. I think I'll go stack center here. Okay, so basically there's nothing like this center. Um, uh, okay, I think we can do something like add a spine. So I'm trying to figure out some stuff. So let's go ahead and do BR here. Sorry, BR. Let's see what happens. Good. Right, so we have br here we can i think i'm gonna do something like text left or right okay all right so i think what we can do is um let's go down cut this not cut actually let's just copy this and paste this here i'm gonna cut this here all right so let's make this a separate part you know these are just dummy text so you can do this so i'm just gonna Copy all this again, then paste what I record cut. Then I make this grid. Let's replace item center. So this is gonna be center. It's center. It's sorry. Yep. Seems okay. Yeah. Just translate to English. Cause what is this? Oh wow. This is actually English. <laughs> all right. That seems nice. So we want to have all these icons here. So let's go ahead and export these icons. Right, so I'll export it and you can go ahead and export it. So I'll post the video right in this place.
all right so i've done all the stuff i've downloaded all the icons i'm sure you have also downloaded all, all of them so let's take a look at the eyes so what we need is a space here and a flex right so basically that that is to say we need a space let's do padding top of let's say two so instead of padding top of two let's have a flex so for that flex you want one two three four five six six tips before i do the six zips let's first fix um one of the icons and i believe the first one here is uh where did i copy this to are you kidding me oh wow wow i'm just gonna copy this copy this and go to my post uh, what's the name theory theory And go to the first project images. Use this. All right, good. So as we have that, we can go ahead and do the first icon here is on the dribble, um, dribble icon slash um, dribble. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I don't think I, I didn't download. I downloaded a dribble icon actually. Sorry. Okay, I think I did not extract it. Okay, yeah, I, I need to extract it. Sorry about that. So, copy this. Add the back down. Is this all right? We are good to go. Can I close this. So, dribble, right? Save this and let's see what we have. So, basically, you should have this. So, it is big. So, for this place, I'm gonna use the wind default uh, numbers width of 10, height of 10 okay i think it's 10 by default let's make it like something like five or five okay beautiful nice so we can just go ahead and copy this two three four five six all right so since we've copied this i'll go ahead and do the next one here is on uh, instagram twitter so instagram then we have uh, twitter then we have LinkedIn. Then we have Facebook and Beans. Facebook and Beans. Save this and let's check it out. So you can see we have this jump packed stuff. So we can go ahead and do space X of six so we want this uh, space around them right you can see some images are wobbly i think uh, we can go ahead and do something like object and uh, let me look at the one that is wobbly for okay facebook so let's go ahead and do something like now um, hopefully it works object cover so we are going to try different ones so let's try object cover but right, object cover so let's do contain so contain the div that we give you beautiful so i think we can just copy all this and put it put it in the next one it's gonna select all of them all right yeah you can see now so they are fits in their places good so the next one do is make these buttons so as usual i'm just gonna wait let me just close this so we're gonna have a padding top this time around let me get three we want a little bit of space we can go ahead and do the div should be flex so for that flex we want a button the first one says message and we need another button which says connect save this and then take a look at it this is basically what we have a button that does nothing and is not stout so i think the color of this text is the same thing I'm just gonna copy that so for the first one i'm gonna do class border so initially we need a border so when you save this you're gonna see what's going to happen um nothing actually happened <laughs> so let's give the border width up okay let's give the color gray 500 let's see what happens again because we have a border with gray so what we're gonna do is change that border color and add in our color here remember this is the one with border color it doesn't have um background so we're given the color ready so what you need to do is give it some space so the px of six 
and py1 i like doing this so you can specify the space horizontal and vertical so i think you can just make the horizontal a little bit more so let's try three okay good then it is rounded i think xl all right good then it text is also the same color and this time around it is font bold all right beautiful so we have that so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to just copy this and i'm going to use it for the connect instead connect so instead of border we don't we don't we don't need border in this case this is our border i'm just i'm going to delete this border we're going to make this bg so that is basically everything here save that refresh we have that i think the test color is a bit different which is our which is color white so let's make test color should be white save this go back there and we have this now you notice something that there's a space between them so we have to go ahead and add a space space x of six let's try the six again works fine i think I, we should do 12 all right beautiful so i think we can just fix this gap a little bit so instead of 500 let's try 400 all right seems okay or oh, 450 <laughs> all right this is good all right so we've done the first part of our video all right if you like this part please make sure you like and subscribe then we move on to the next part so before moving on i also want to show you that you can add shadow to this card so by going to this where we have this grid and where we have this rounded so you can go ahead and do shadow something like shadow md so that is a medium shadow um I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see but you see a shadow all around it if i try extra large probably you can see it uh, i'm not sure you can see it okay let's try and give a shadow a color shadow purple 500 save this you can see that is a shadow there I think it's kind of okay with this purple. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it like that. So it's a choice. So either leave it or remove it. All right. So the next thing we're going to be building is this landing page. All right. So get ready. All right. So welcome to the second part. And without more talking, let's just dive into this. All right. So let's head back to our Visual Studio code. I'm going to close everything here. I'm going to create a new folder inside our two projects this is going to be second project all right so inside here we're going to have an index.html and also the usual which is images all right so inside our index.html yeah so basically yeah i know i said we're going to be using the um, new js i think I think that just kept my mind. So let's delete this index HTML here. So let's delete this. Delete, delete, delete. Yes, yeah, it's more to a circle bin. So let's either do Ctrl J. So Ctrl J, we want to see the inside our second project. Why that is doing that, doing what it's supposed to do. I add about to um, installation. Then do it. Here, um, CLI. All right, so let's see the inside second second projects. All right, so we're inside there. So first, one of these is copy this. So this will install the CSS for us. So to install this, you have to make sure you have Node.js installed in system. All right, if you don't have Node.js installed, it's not going to work. So basically, you can go ahead and just head over to Node.js.org and download node.js for your system i can recommend downloading this one and not the current or just download this one okay so while this is installing let's just wait a minute all right so it has finished installing let's go back so we want to create a theming configuration file so if i should paste this it's going to create a theming.config.js file in our project directory i should open this okay yep and on this so you can see we have the config.js right here beautiful 
right next thing we want to do is we want to tell it okay we want you to source from this src folder then pick any html or javascript file so we can just copy this and replace all this here all those all this here and paste that save this and yeah so in the src basically we, then we need to create a folder here called src so in the src here create a folder a folder called inputs.css so you can name it anything you want but i'm just following the documentation input css so this will include the tailwind base the component and the utilities so once you've done that there we now need to run this command this command is what is going to generate css and mix everything works for us she paste this and i also is picking from the src inputs then it's going to output it out in output.js here which is going to be created in name gfri almost soon yeah so this is it output.js can see so the more code you css you write the more it's going to like you know reload itself and generate it but so that out of the way now so we can go to the s house here and create index.html so once you've created the index.html you can go ahead and now you can just copy this easy so this is looking at a dx output which is this one here so it's picking the css from that place All right so let's open this in live with live server and for this load, I'm just gonna add it so that you can see it is loaded now. So, um, this is meant to underline actually. Underline, we let me remove this font, but I'll see what happens. Okay, let me go ahead and write this by myself. Okay, so no. So, okay, let's just go like this exactly. This output CSS, save this. Okay, so let's try board. Sorry, board. Okay, yeah, it's working out. If I should add on the line here, yeah. right? It's okay, so because we know we have inside inside different folder styles, I think that is the reason why it's, it's like that right so let's delete this now let's get started all right so the first one we look at is we have this header let's go ahead and create an header so i can go ahead and do so initially i wrap everything with a d first inside that div you can go ahead and say we oh, want an header so for this header here as you can see it's gonna be a flex so let's make it a flex so the flex is gonna pass into two divs. But meanwhile, the second div is just gonna be a flex. So why is it a flex? Initially, it's a flex because we have this that are separating from this. Then this also is like this. So that's why I'm making it a flex. Then this one is also a flex here. And you understand what I'm saying very soon. So let's just export this image. We gonna go to um group i need to find a group 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 right so the group i'm trying to find um where they group date sorry so if i should go and click exports from this place and check it out nope so we need we want this also with it so all right so should go to export nope i want to group it um i think i can go to inspect or right click oh god so i added um exported from um, this other design here don't worry the design be available in the description so you can check it out and also the code also available in my kit also other than exporting by yourself you can just download the uh, pictures images from there so i've downloaded it which is group 13.png i'm just gonna add about the downloads copy this add about my um not this one but to my what do you call it do to report oh not that one sorry do to the project second 
and I believe images. So instead of group text, I'm gonna remain rename this to logo. Alright, beautiful. Over back there, and uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do image images slash logo. Uh where did I put the image? So um okay let's put let's put the images there. Let's just put it there. We can go ahead and do second project images slash logo. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Save this. Oh, sorry, not up this this part. I can see we have that. And it's a little bit smaller, I think. So we can reduce this a little bit. I think class width of eight. Let's make it a width of eight. Nah, it is not effective enough. Six, nope. Let's do two. <laughs> Let's do four. What? Five. Ten. Right, so there's no five. So there's ten, there's twelve. Let's do twenty. Oh, oh why is happening actually? Okay, it's working. Things behaving kind of weird. Uh, let's just start two initially. Alright, so we have that two. I think this is okay. Then we can go ahead and do this. So we have a flex, then an HR of home. We're going to copy this one, two, three, four, five times. Five. So this is home about. Then we have services. Then we have systems. And you notice the last one is a button. So we can make this contact us. As written in that place, then let's go now. The test color is also the border color, right? So I think this is a color here. So we can go ahead and do class as a border. Border should be the color, All right? So yeah, you can say I have auto complete that because I have the window extension installed on my Visual Studio Code. You can do that also, right? The only to convert and text will also be the color. Okay. And let's give it a padding of four. Sorry, padding of four. Let's see what happens. Uh, why is it reloading this page? Uh, okay, I think I have to close that page. All right, so let's close that. So we have this. Let's try theory, then let's do rounded. I think it is full. So rounded fully, full circle. Yeah, beautiful. And there's something about this. It is a little bit bold. So we can do font semi bold. So our own also will also be semi bold. All right, semi bold. Good. And I, I, I don't like this. Actually, let's do but in PX for PY of so i think i like it with better like that yes now it is close to each other now for where we have this where we have the first flex you can go and do justify between so that is you know space them see you can do item center so we want it to be center to each other then the same thing we're going to do for here but here it's not it's not just five between you going to do space x so let's do six right same thing item center good so we've done that and for the initials we're going to do class px of four py of one all right so you have that okay i think you can make it of py of two instead okay good so we have this first case and i believe if i should over this issue change color so let's just do it over even though it doesn't it's not gonna check over so let's do over so i want the bg to be the color that also when you over the text should be white now when you over 
I want a I want no border so border none. So I want border none. So save this over. See what we have here. All right, good. Now let's head over back. I want to have this. So I'm just gonna close this tab now. All right. So this is right under here, which we can do something like padding or margin top. So let's do margin top of six. All right for that i want to have a div again so initially you know what we're going to do here is just do a grid place item center right so this is a become a better a, a big become a better business with us sorry inspect copy this head over down here and do span font should be bold then text should be too extra large so i want a very big text so yeah it's not big enough sorry let's do 6xl i think that is the biggest of all yep let's do 5xl so one better business is us um uh, save this so basically so of using br i believe i've not i've not done it before but i think the solution was coming to me i think we can wrap this in a div like this so a div actually a width of let's say 500 pixels so it will break itself itself um, if the text is going exactly going more than it um nope so let's cut this no 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 not that so let's cut this no in fact just delete that delete that we need to cut this so let's do div sorry div is this i think i believe we should add the width here width of 500 pixels save this yeah exactly so you can see we are having what we are meant to have and margin top i think uh, make it 12. this looks a little bit close refresh no why why did margin top like that five dollar of two okay this is okay a better business with us and i believe it's like the text looks center or somehow i'm not sure text center okay no it's not it's not center okay i think it's okay now good so we can go ahead and copy this also so this is right under under it so we can go ahead and span paste this here and this is a color Okay, this is a random color. The last, the list we just have to do is class. Make it text. I think there's extra small. Okay, extra small is bad. Let's make it just small. All right, good. So you can see we are having that because because of um this. So let's specify a grid here. Save this. You can see we have a grid. In this case, I think small is too much. Let's make it medium. Okay, medium, 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 and I want to break it from this place, you know, because we have text center there. So I'm gonna break it from here. All right, so works works exactly as we expected. So for here, I want to do space y of three. Oh, sorry, not that side. <laughs> I found out it was not working. So right here space y of three good so we need this button initially i can just copy this and change the values that are expected so i think this has a little you know not, not much space actually so let's do our business our business right so the difference is i think this is a little bit longer so let's do six and this doesn't have much fat and this color is different this is the color they use in this place which is going to be so our text is going to be color white and i don't believe that there's any over in that case so we don't need a border what did i just do we don't need a border so i can change this border to bg you see the color there and um 
yeah we don't need this over anymore too save this and let's check it out you can see this is what we have uh we can go ahead and specify something like width of let's say 300 pixels all right so that's 100 pixels let's try 100 pixels nope. 200 pixels why so refresh we have 200 pixels i think this is too long let's make it five I think the last one that we are still running is still um it's still running with it also I think so. If there's a way I can stop this server. Um let's check my terminal. I only have one running actually, but you know what? It's okay. So we have that. I think it's a little bit too big. Let's do 150. Okay, good then. I do px 1.5 i believe there's 1.5 so, uh refresh okay good um at this rate we can center this um place let's try the place item center and see what happened place item center yes exactly what we needed so let's add more space let's make it five all right so, um okay Maybe six instead no uh, no five i think five is okay but why did it reflect okay yeah five is okay beautiful so next one i do is just this picture that takes up the whole page all right so i'm just gonna export this picture or this particular picture <laughs> sorry i'm just having for doing this seems interesting all right so once that picture is downloaded what about your downloads copy this and let's paste this here beautiful i think uh it's, it's faster i mean the name for this because i think my system is going to slow down from that place let's do bg girl all right so that is initially after this so we can go ahead and add a Margin top of let's say 12. Have it. Can we, um, okay, let's wrap this in a div instead. And let's do image. Okay, go ahead and do something like second project images. Then BG Girl, save this. And about back there, you can see we have this full picture. I can see there's an issue there because we added padding here, so it's affecting this one. Mm, and what we can do is um yeah so what we can do is cut everything like this wrap this in a div paste this out then i'm just gonna cut this out i'll put this here save this and i think we should be free to go exactly but there's something we need to do i think the height is a little bit too much so let's do class and then look at the height here so i think it's 616 or so so let's do h616 and see what we have this one six big so too big so let's do 300 pixels okay which should be full once a full width yeah so so this is what we have and we can go around and do something like uh the object contain or object object cover and contain so all right good so um so we have that i think let me try and format this to see what we have actually control shift p format document all right good you notice that we don't have a margin at the bottom so initially i can do margin bottom let's say six so so as to see what we have under here good you notice the get picture is actually different i think that's because of the height so let's make height 500 yes all right good i think 500 is a little bit too much also let's do 400 just okay 400 is okay so once this is done already 
The next one to do is this. Next one to do is this. Um, so let's copy this. And that is a very, very long margin. So let's do margin top of, let's say, 26 span. Text should be, I think, 4XL. And the font should be bold. If I should paste this and I save, let's have a look at what we have. So this is what we have here. I said margin top of 20, 26. Don't know 26. Let's we'll try 24. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, so 24 works. I think 24 is too much. Let's try 20. Alright, so 20 works. Um just like we have been doing since to not make this class grid place item center. And just like we did with the previous one, I'm gonna add this in a in a grid. So um grid and let's add a let's make it 500 pixels here. Alright, so we have 500 pixels correct. Is the word yes? So this is what I'm looking for. Okay, good. Works fine. So once that is done, what one of these now do this because you know this is a flex, so uh um, right over here because we don't want it in a grid, we can do let's just do padding top of let me use a padding top in this case. Padding top, we want to have a div a flex so we want to have a flex because this is one and two here but the first flex here is going to be a grid why is it grid because we have a text and we have a text here all right then the next one is just a normal random image for the first text let me copy the color for this right so we want to have a span text No, I'm not sure emits can do this. Yes, exactly. I'm not sure emits can auto complete this. Can it? Yeah, exactly. So it can't. Let's just do span. And let's do class text. And it's also a text. Let's make it extra small because it it, it looks small in that place, which is may. I think we that May 2021. May 2021. So I should save this and I check that out. Also, we have May 2021 here. And this is bold. Font bold. So we want the bold fonts, right? And um, it is sent that actually. So I believe we can do that for you in this place. This is here. I believe we can make it also grid. Let's do place item center. Right, so this is center. This is for us. And um, the other text that we need is this. Copy this. And that is also good. But this time it is text small, not extra small. Font. Want board is this let's see what we have all right so we have that we are going to fix that text very soon so let's go ahead and add an image and see what we have first okay export export the first image copy this no this is here I'm gonna call this first image Right, so right, I'm going to do image slash second place slash images slash first image. Save this and let's check it out. All right, so exactly what I was thinking. This is what we are going to be having. Um, so let's reduce the height. So there's a width of hundred pixels. So 100 pixels, let's reduce that. 100 pixels is a little bit too small. So I think 300, 400 pixels. But 300 should work. Okay, let's do 300. Mm. 
is that the same size or no the other is just it's too it's too be small let's do degree 70. all right but so look at this space here basically it is like telling us uh yeah yeah you don't need to make use of a grid system or whatever so in my case i i, I just removed the grid and i add a br here i think yeah so this just gives us this so and also for the meantime don't forget we need to add something like a width so let's make it 200 300 pixels i mean so as the test can bend so save this okay i think 300 pieces okay so let's try 100 pieces right nope 200 all right good focus no 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 i want i want it to be almost exactly like you like focus and break and come down 220 let's try 180 why is this i should try 200 what am i at this one I'm having so that means I should increase it. Should I increase or reduce? Let's try 90. Okay, I think I should reduce. Let's try 99. All right, focus business services. Let's try 100. Then no difference 150. So we just have to play with this value exactly. Nope. Not almost not there, not there. I want 30. I guess I don't get it. We can just Yeah, okay, I've gotten it. <laughs> right, so we can go ahead and do something like space X or let's say true off. Alright. Good. So we've done the part for this. So let's go ahead and do the part for this. We can just copy this. Uh, which is this one here don't forget it's in a grid system so we can space this later i should save this and i head over back there i see we have that jump pack a tangler is in a space it is a grid system we can go ahead and space it uh, with four so we have space around of four i think four is too so small let's try six try six refresh okay sorry Wait for this to refresh okay not bad not bad not bad all right so we have that and we can just go ahead and export all these pictures so i'm just going to export all these pictures plus this one i'm going to copy them sorry on my dial sorry okay so i'll call this um no i want it to be exactly so andrew okay yes andrew is the i say second second image and um jonathan is a third image right so yeah we have second image so let's do second image and where's the last one which is the third image all right beautiful so we've done that the next thing we need to do is this all right so we have to do those and we can go ahead and have a div parting top of let's say two then I believe you can have something like a div with a border, a border with 300. All right, with a width width of let's say 200 pixels. All right. So inside that we want to have a div of flex. So the first one is um a span that say previously you want to go ahead and have um yes three more I do one two three then we need the last one which is the next 
So I should save this and I check it back. Basically, this is what we have, and I believe this is too long. Uh, it, it don't look actually long very soon because I should add speaks x of let's say four. All right, good. So I can reduce this a little bit by saying by saying now uh, let's say eighty. Okay, very good. Then eighty, we can now add padding all around of two. <laughs> fresh okay it doesn't work why well. i think it was working recently 100 no 200 all right so 200 works somehow so let's try one eight c save 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 right beautiful so we have that and there's something in theory that's called divide so i was open with mixes of the divide in this case Okay, but that is loading up. I think we can do it. Go ahead and add divide. I think somewhere here. Divide x. Let's say two. Okay, let's not divide here. What if I do y? So it's either vertical or horizontal, right? So I'm not having. Okay, I'm not. I'm not sure this is what I'm supposed to do it. I think I'm supposed to do it inside the device separating them so let's try sorry let's try x at first yeah you can see we have it there all right so basically this one i want to give this on a pattern of two and let's do bg purple 500 you can see we have that many have, let me remove this part anyway okay so we have this and um the color they are using here is um also close to the um close to the um bg purple 500 so let's do bg paste this inside here and make this ash and the text is white save this all right beautiful then um I think I'll do px of 2 instead. Okay, px of 2. Okay, then we can do py of um, 0 0.5. I believe it's like taking too much space. All right, good. If I try py of 1. Okay, yeah. So this seems fair enough. Then don't forget to do item center because I think they are like not aligned enough. Okay, good. So they're aligned now. So we want the many text to be the same color as this. So I'm just gonna put this here, put this here and do class text. Ash, don't forget the ash. I'll close that. Then this is a gray, I think gray 500 or 300. So let's gonna do class text gray 300. All right, yes, yeah, so it's not like not very, very clear enough. So, since so that is that, so we can go ahead and do px of two so as to add space between them. Beautiful. Uh, yep, so meaning we need to extend this a little bit 200. All right, good. So, we are done with this part. So, the next part we need to do is the footer, which is the last part. All right, so for the footer here. You see where we have this margin bottom here. So let's remove this margin bottom here. And let's have a div. So this div is going to be this background color. So we can just name this footer. All right, so we can do BG. Don't forget the ash. All right, so every text here should be white. So let me just give it a padding of two and see what we have. So this is what we have now. Wow, beautiful. Yes, very, very beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. So let's copy this. And uh, the first thing we want to have here is, is a flex. I'm sure you've noticed that already. So this is a flex. So let's do PIB dots. 
have the flex then we want to have a div so for this div here so let me then share half of the screen so we can do class width half of the screen on about two sorry and let's do a new span x 5x save this and let's take a look at what we have as you can see this is what we have here I think it's too big. I think it's too big. Let's reduce to four XL. Let's give this a little bit more breathing space. Padding two is too small. So let's do padding four. Okay, seems okay. Um I think we can just specify an height here for now. So let's just specify an height for now. Yes, so save this because okay. I think it's okay as we specify an height. So let, let's make it 300 instead. The height is too much. Okay, good. So we want we I we gave it an half. I think the half doesn't seem to work because the text are not broken as expected. Or well, let me go ahead and add a width of half in this place. So basically, this story about learning is weird. I do so sorry. So I'm learning as I'm teaching now. Hopefully, you are gaining something. So this one works. So let's try and do our random 400 pixels. Let's see what happens. We want it to be working to break almost almost there why if i do 500 pictures so, so i think it's going to be reducing 300 yes so this is what i want beautiful then i want sticks this this so um i can kind of do something like br then adding top of to sorry span text should be small I save this yeah beautiful so we have that um, um i think we can add a little bit of 340 yeah let's make it 340 so so it can be longer uh, let's make it 380 all right good i know i said working it should be for working actually but i should make this 5 excel so you see that don't worry we are going to do i think something we call letter spacing so we'll do that very soon now what is this uh, this this is a text i'm not sure this needs i'm not sure this needs to be an icon so we can go ahead and do div the top of four right so we can go ahead and do div div dot flex right span fb copy this three times and this is linkedin twitter and another linkedin i'm not sure what that is not sure okay instagram save this and let's check it out so we have that uh we can go ahead and specify space space x of six good and you see notice this at, at this place so let's add the margin top of six here okay good so we have this right then last thing we need to do is this new logo here looking for if, if if it's actually grouped I'm trying to group there okay all right so basically wait and let me just try and group them from i think i think i can grab them from here group okay yes then export this you can see it's a, a white picture so you can just go back to where we are before go ahead and download Download it. So we can rename this to logo white. So that is to show okay. This is a um, this is a white logo. And uh, yeah, so right here you can see we have a lot of space. I think we're gonna do pan top of let's say 24. Then we can do div dot flex also. Wait, is it flex? 
now um we i will get back to that if it's a flex but for now let's do the div and let's do image we can go ahead and do second project slash images slash logo white.png so we should save this and um, what is it what is it uh, so it's under there basically our becoming shorter so let's do 400 all right beautiful i think i think you can leave it a 380 all right you can leave it 380 good all right so once all this is done i think the next two minutes is this input feed and then um, this submit i think that is submit in that place so let's go ahead and do um a div so this div here i'm gonna give it a border border white and let's specify a width for it we will give the width of 200 pixels all right so the reason i'm doing this is because i can add an input field and everything together so it builds if it should be text then we want to have a button that says submit i should check this out so you can see we have this right so our input field is there so we want our input field to take in the color of our background so input field nope what's the color what's the color this is it like the color there i save this you can see we have that then i believe we can add something like pattern of four a pattern all around it um okay so we increase this let's say 250 all right so initially we can just increase this a little bit more i think it's more longer and too long say 300 what is okay 300 sorry i was almost shouting what is this because i don't understand the um is it, is it a bit long so let's do 3 that instead okay um sign so since here then let's do justify between hopefully we get that okay good so when that is done then when we have this flex at the top here let's just justify between all right so you can see we've moved this there and this is actually down and there's a cheat code for this which is basically at the parent top of let's say 24 bravo oh wait i think i think there's another way we can do this with I think we should find a better way to do this. What if I add item center here? Yes, so item center works. Alright, so we have submit capital letter S. I still feel like this should be a little bit more longer. So let's do 350 instead. So let's do 340. Um hopefully that is okay. Then we have a place with that here. This so that I see is join our mailing list. Join our mailing list. Save this and check it out. You can see that we have that. So basically, we can add it. Start our place order. You can see that it is gray. What do I do? Place order. Text should be white. Place order. Font should be bold. I want it to be a little bit more bold. And Turn our limit this place so that text will be white font but i'm not sure i know what is going on here okay. yeah so i've forgotten that they're conflicting i have to refresh this other text should be large i want it to be large because i'm not sure it is as small as this right good this is okay i feel like i actually do think this should be a little bit more longer course of what is going on here 3070 sorry i'm just refreshing to confirm if that is actually 3070 
all right uh -huh. so basically i think it's just expanding i thought actually expanding the last time uh, right so let's refresh this almost let's just do five six hundred no I'm, i don't trust you this time around okay that's <laughs> 600 actually let's do 500 then uh -huh. right this seems okay then i think for something clearer we can do space x of let's say 12 let's say 32 Okay, I'm not sure nothing. I'm sure nothing is happening here. So, like I said, I like doing PX. So let's do PX of twelve, PY of four. Nope. Let's do PI of twelve. Now let's refresh this. Let's keep refreshing it. Yes, I think refreshing this is the best way so far. So good. Um. Um, uh, I doubt it's supposed to be inside there because of um because of this white stuff that I was showing before so I think we should add it inside here okay yeah so oh no no <laughs> no I thought that's a good idea so let's reverse it reverse it to the way it was before so py Twelve. What do I put it to PY eight? All right, yeah. So you see, this is okay. Uh, remember the last thing we have is this copyright. Uh, I believe we can finally make this a flex. So I can have a span that says exactly this that is written here. Yeah. Copy, paste this, save this. So we have that if i should do something like that, can i justify between okay yeah exactly what i was thinking so the flex ought to work what's work in that place i think it's going to work in this space let's do the so this is where we have it here and for something like this i can go ahead and add this in a span class absolute so i'm going to make it absolute so i can move it so i do i'll make it on bottom should be zero it's going to be at the bottom what if i try right right should be zero right so wait where is it where is it where is it where is it uh i'm not sure i know where it is uh okay let's move the right one let's see the bottom Sorry. No, let's let's give it a background color so as to see where it is it is. Green five hundred. Alright, so let's look for the green in this place. All right, see this is where it, it is at uh, um Um, no, 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 no. Why if I cut it out from this place and just add it over here? Let's see where the bottom is gonna be. Okay, so the bottom is right here. So it's taking the D positions. So let me put the bottom here. Exactly where I needed. So bottom should be zero. Oh, all right. So bottom is the without the bottom. That is when it's actually like this. So um, I think we can just reverse it back to this place where it is in this place. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, I think we can just leave it back here. Let's leave it back here. All right. Sorry, not here. Let me just leave it back here. Beautiful. Then we can do bottom of O. So bottom of O is um is in that side. So what if I do 
retrieve value on those 600 pixels. All right. Good. So 600 pixels is too much. Let's do 500. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it at? Where are you? Oh my God. 2000. But right, you know what that is a very very bad thing to do <laughs> given it that i'm just gonna cut this i'm going to remove this and i'm going to figure out where to do that um okay so i believe um Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think we are we are actually correct. So, I believe this year should not be here. It should be like um after all the flex. So that is the flex. It should be here itself. So they will be different from each, each other. Exactly. We can go and do item center, then justify between save these voila. So basically sometimes uh, yeah you just need to wait a little bit and think uh, yeah it'll work let's do class text should be sm text should be 500 all right beautiful all right so we are done with this and note that it is not responsive because it's just a normal desktop website all right so we're done with everything in the ui as you can see Right, so if you like this tutorial please make sure you like subscribe see you next time i'll we'll see you in the next video all right hey what's up so this is the third part of the tutorial initially i even started recording i remembered i didn't record with audio so basically uh, as at now we have this available so let me just walk you through the code i did the normal thing in installation that we did for the same company but i did it in the top projects now then as usual we have a flex so the flex that contains a flex of all this then a div that has a button of this then initially then i give the padding the horizontal of four and padding vertical of two hopefully you are uh, some part horizontal of two part vertical of four hopefully you understand what i'm saying all right so what is this out of the way okay so we are going to go down here so what i want to do is this one so the first one of this get this background color so the background color is is that so we're gonna do div div class vg oh sorry vg sorry vg background color text should also be white I'm not sure you see anything yet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um have a flex between that flex. Want to have a two div. So the first div is this one. Um, thanks. I might copy this text because um this person design is a little bit confusing. Span text. Or Excel. All right, so copy this. So we have this here, and I'm just going to add screen here so we can see what we have. So we're going to do a screen. All right, so yeah, so take out the old space. Um, for this case here, we're going to have a class width. Let's make it a width of 500 pixels. All right, width of 500 pixels. I think that is. Is the is it not supposed to copy like this? Why is it copying in another way? Sorry, is the copy like that C is the 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 so let's do 400 on uh, um 300. Why is it like this at first? And 
let's see uh, let's see let's see 400 all right 100 i mean 100 let's do 5 xl nope let's do 4 then let's make it fonts should be bold fonts should be bold all right I think I'm just going to highlight everything to my hand. So this is capital letter. Or oh, I think there's a way I should be able to do like copy, analyze, fully. Yes, good. All right. So basically, what we are even looking for is already be done. So let me copy this one too. So this is going to be here. Yeah. right so it's going to be a br because if we use grid now the space is going to be too much so let's do adding top of of the if you know where i can I, um, avoid that type of error just tell me please all right good so we have that follow up then i want to have this book committee so this book committee is basically the same thing as that one so I have this here save this but it's, it's a little bit more um has more weight so so let's add to all right good and uh, let's do class sorry class adding top of five no? let's do three i think three is okay no uh, no no let's do five six Let's just conclude at eight. All right, beautiful. So and we have this also. Copy this and so that is to say this is going to be a flex. A flex then right under you can have a span that text save it and here you go i think i make this text should be small secondary action i'm just gonna break this one instead all right good so we can have a space between them space x or four all right good so the last thing we need for this part is um this icon here or this logo I mean. uh if possible i can just no but i think i'm not sure wait i think i'm coming trying to see if they are grouped or i can spot them one by one okay so i can spot them one by one spot this one first then google export google then Amazon export Amazon. So let's go ahead and just open it. Nope. So let's open it. And the first one here is I don't know what is this is brand open up, open up. This is the Logitech PNG. So I've copied that already. It's gonna head over back. With the PNG, close this, open this element, element, brand. This is a Google logo. This is here. All right, close this. Then the last one, which is the Amazon. All right, so good. So you can close this. All right, so since we have that now, then right under here we can have adding top, adding top of let's say uh, twenty. Don't always forget that this should be item center. So adding top of twenty. Like I gotta have div dot flex 
first div image sorry image this will be dot project slash images slash um logistics um logitech sorry i said logistics so logitech i think this space is too much let's just make it 16. all right okay so we can copy this so this is um google and the next one is um amazon Okay, we can just add a little bit of space x of four. Then last but not the least, like I'll list tell you item center. Okay. The Amazon seems a little bit of I think that is how it is here because this is the idea. This is not so I think it's the logo, the way the logo design is actually. So we need this um this beautiful face logo here, uh, picture all right so if you know me if you, if you see me using your picture please um i don't have money for copyright issue but basically i just have to follow what i see all right so i'm just gonna copy this so the name is image dot png yep. not making any changes to that which is going to be the next one so we should go ahead and do images sorry dot project slash not this images images slash image dot png but just save this and see what we have um okay so we have a very big image um okay not too big actually so where is the height this is this is let's say 560 so let's do height of 500 pixels i guess we are that is 500 let's do 400 all right good so since that is done already when we have this div here when we have this save what if i do adding x of 32 okay then justify between mm. nope no it's not justify between let's space it space x sorry so let's do space x of 12 Now let's just start it at like 32. Okay, then we can go and do for this one. PY of um, let's just say 12. Alright, so seems a little bit okay. This is 36. Thirty-six, okay. Or if I should do items, item center. Oh, we open save, save, save. All right, so that is basically it. I think the padding is okay. Let's do padding 36. All right, go. So we are done with the first part. So the other part is um, is this one here. All right, so this is also a flex, and uh, also under the under the um background. So I think I can just lose this and come over here and do div flex, div first, the first div and the second div. Excuse me. All right. Hmm. Again, I do span. So we want this class text of 3xl. Let's make it 3xl. Let's do font should be both. So we want a both font. 
check it out. All right, good. All right, good. Um, sorry. Initially, I feel like uh, we should remove this from here. I'm just gonna put this right here for now. Then I'm going to copy everything here, cut it. If why I'm doing this is because if you look at take a look at this, so I have to keep applying it there every time, every time, you know. So I don't want to do that. Just paste. Let me paste this. Alright, so paste this back. I'm going to close this one again. So this is be a class of this. Okay, good. So basically, yeah, everything is like that. And yeah, before I forget. Let's add margin top of 20. Okay, good. Next minute is this one. Copy everything here. I'm gonna put it a, a line break here. I'm going to do div padding top of two span. Save this. And we have this long test. So basically, we have to specify our width. As a width of 400 pixels, All right? With the 400 pixels, exactly what we need. Rapidly, yeah, exactly what we need. Uh, we can just make it a little bit small. The XSM. Okay. Let's make this 500. Oop. 300. Fifty. I want it to be at the, the rapidly actually. No, let us let us leave it as four hundred, and I'm going to remove this text small. So we don't want it to be small. Let's just leave like that. Okay, good. Um. Then we need these so those are flex right, i'll go ahead and do div padding top of let's say four we're going to have a flex here the flex that says 18k why is the k different <laughs> So they are literally the same thing. So it is going to be a grid. All right. So it's going to be a grid. Just copy everything here. All right. Save this. Take a look at what we have. Yeah, so basically, we are not going to see anything because of the edge screen we added here. Let me move this edge screen, and you should, you should take out the space. Okay, good. So, this this one is going to be class um, text of let's say 4XL. Then the font should be bold. Font should be bold, bold, bold. Okay, good. And, um, I think for this one we can just cheat the system by doing high quality we can just break it here br then br here all right so right start i think these colors are different this text color are different oh, it's white okay so it is white ah yep so copy that and this is going to be 92 percent instead 92 percent or percent <laughs> and how you call it actually okay i think it's the same thing save this and let's check it All right so we have that then we can space it space x of four four okay then each of these let's do space y of Two. 
Alright, so space one of two beautiful. Okay, so we've done that. Next one of these is um this one here. So basically we are not downloading anything, I can just create a run stuff. I think the only thing I download is this icon play button. So out of our export, let me preview this. Alright, so export download down. Why must you be in a zip? Oh god. So yep icons arrow down copy this then add over to your images and paste this right here one that is there what you want to do is this so i think this is 530 by 350. um we did a flex i'm trying to figure out where we did the flex from okay okay so this is a price this is with 500 okay yeah so it's going to be here this is going to be bg gray 500 all right and we want the width should be 530 pixels so i'm actually following this 530 by 350 actually 350 px right then let's just add a padding of two all over save this check it out this is what we have a little bit too big it's, it's too big so let's make it 300 okay fair enough and i think this is too fat so it's 500 100 okay yeah this is okay and the gray is too dark let's use 300 instead 300 300 300 refresh okay good i want to have our image which is in top of that images then which is um arrow down save this there we have it there we can do grid place item center good then just as we did it i think we did um space x or what so take a look at this space x of 32 so we can get a new space space x of 32 all right good so we've done that looks amazing beautiful mm -hmm. all right so the next one of these is i feel like the space here is actually more than this so so let's do 32 here um let's do 50 I believe there's 50 okay so there's no 50 i think you know in in, in, in more case we just guess 40 okay let's go 48 save uh-huh all right this is okay good so the next thing on do is this part here uh i'm just gonna close this also i'm going to do div imagine top of 40 let's make down 40 instead i want to have a span of text of like say 3 xl that says this but then headline of modern and, and digital platform so there you have it and we can just add a br here it's not a bad name because we don't have flex or something we can just add br there or br i mean font good all right good so under that we want to have um, a flex div so let's you know let's have a grid first a grid inside our grid we want to have a flex so inside our flex each of them will have a grid which is div of grid let's do the one for the first one which is this one with a star so let's go and export the star Right, so basically i'm going to export all the icons and you can also do that so 
or export all the icons and I'll do that also all right so you can see i've downloaded all the icons and i renamed all of them make sure you name them all right so the first item we need is a star all right so that is what i'll do image which is a project images slash i think we i got a star save this and let's take a look at what we have sorry so we have this star right here okay so before i forget everything we have to make margin top of let's say true off so a little bit of space will be yeah real nice after that i want first feature so we can get our spawn first feature then copy this also this also all right so that also we have that remember it's a flex so i just break this and if you want to go ahead and do the divide you can go ahead and do the divide. i just want to save time all right maybe this text should be small okay good then where we have this grid here less spaces space y of 3 you know what it's just crazy how you can just do this very very fast using tv css <laughs> like actually i am I don't, i'm not very very good at css but with tv css yeah i think i can do some stuff as a backend developer actually so you want um okay hold on hold on okay yeah it's correct so one this it should be three three actually the ledger and do space x of let's say four all right so we have that then we have second feature third feature so this is uh what i call this i call this um fast of feature okay i, I call this tag all right this is second second feature and this is this is third feature all right good so why we are why i said we should make it a grid is because i'm also going to be copying everything here as you can see copying everything uh everything here so i'm trying to figure out the one i'm copying okay i'm going to be copying it pasting it there so you can see we have it in two places and when we now have that grid we can space it by doing space y or let's say four because we have space well four let's do six you notice that the last one is not actually spacing so we can actually fix that but before we do that let's let's, let's uh, finish everything so we have first feature so this first feature is going to be fourth feature i need this um bookmark right and this is going to be fifth i name this um art and the last one is going to be um sixth Ah, not six story um security it's going to be six save this out of our back there okay oh everything is okay i thought uh, it was not actually okay that time all right seems okay i think but i think this piece is is more but we have a weather grid so can just uh, let's stick to 12 all right okay good so the next you want to do is so the end is up this so meanwhile let's just let's first download this picture export finally it's not is it's not a zip file copy this and paste this let's name this 
H E R R. All right. So we are creating a success story kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna close this and is this thing inside? Okay, so it's still inside. Um, yep, so let's do margin top of 24. All right, so let's go and div PG gray 300. And let's do uh width of say 500 pixels i think that's okay all right so nothing yet and we're going to do padding of let's say six all right so we have that and in this case i can do grid place item center because initially it's the center so we want it to the center and this is shorter is a 700 okay yeah enough all right so let's add an height so we can do h 500 pixels all right 500 pixels okay good perfect exactly what we needed so inside of here we need a div next so we want the div first so the first we need here is the success story so the font is bold and we can give it text with two excel right um for this video can i give give something like text should be black right good then for this place also you can going to do br and div padding top of three expand this and save All right so we have this I think for this case, let's for this case let's make use of um, a width. So let's use a width of four hundred pixels. All right, four hundred pixels, and the text are pretty big. So let's make it a large, a large text. Okay okay not very large excel so let me extra large okay seems fair enough so let's make this uh oh, i'm sorry let's make it 300 okay good let's make it 320 uh, let's make 280 yes so then we want okay i think we have this image already so right here we can go ahead and do div button top of four go ahead and load an image an image for us which is going to be dot project images logitech save this check it out so we have that and it's a bit smaller so class which should be Let's make it 10. Too small. Let's just make it 20. Alright, 20 seems okay. Uh 18. 20 seems too much. Nope. There's no 18. 16. Wait for it. Okay, very good. We want to have um this. This text here. I do br we cannot do span so span class text should be small text blue 500 all right uh, okay i don't need this br so 500 is 
too light let's do 900 fresh okay seems okay oh we can just copy the text color actually i think that's okay so we can do text um text 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 okay yeah here we have it um the little is too big so let's do extra small extra small sorry my system is having attempt to save the visual studio file okay text xm is working well then ah oh god i've deleted this okay i noticed there's something like all this run around and stuff here so we can do that by doing div so let's wait add a div here adding top of let's say eight then also have a flex so in this flex i want to have div rounded rounded food dot bg okay rounded food i think the color is also this color that bg which should be 10 oh well let's save this and see what we have so we have nothing so let's specify a width of 10 and a height of 10 so we have that so width of 10 is too much it's too big we don't have it's not something big that we have so let me get you no know, let me keep four four why are you first closing on me okay three let me keep three okay three seems fair enough then we can go ahead and have sorry have these so instead of this we can have gray three hundred will it show yeah it won't show because of so let's do 500 all right so we can then do it and do space x of four too much two space x of two right seems okay then um want to include that picture here so we've done flex for the first one so we have a div here so we can get our call image dot project images r r dot png wait for this to reload here we have it and uh, we can get our reduce this by saying which should be let's say 400 pixels so 400 pixels um okay is it 400 by default let's do 300 okay good i'm uh, going to do item center item center all right then is x of 32 okay no 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 not that not that we can go ahead and give it space x of 2 mm, not so let's give it 12 okay uh, let's give it 12 then i think i'm gonna do px of 32 here yeah okay so ps that is just too much let's do 20. Mm, nope let's do 24. 26. what am i doing 26. all right so it seems okay at the moment i'm trying to see if i can move this like the left of 12 
Okay, a second. So 32. Nope, 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 nope. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, so we know we're just gonna leave it here. Because initially I was supposed to move it to the side here. Uh or uh, what, what if I try to just increase this to 500 you see something like this apples there's a py of 12 or so okay okay i think this is kind of okay actually there's a 400 let's say the back 400 okay i think this is okay uh, we can just stick with this all right then last thing oh not actually the last thing they want to have all these ones so that's why i'll close this yeah i've been imagining top of 12. that's why i don't have a span a span that says this class text should be 3xl one should be both one should be both right then that's how the br here right so we have that good oh wow so i feel like this is not supposed to be even center at all. This is not supposed to be center at all. Okay. What we are supposed to do is um, is outside of it. I should save this. And go back there. Something like this. All right. So basically, it's something like this. Now I see the. Um, now see we zero in the center right because everything aligns together because everything aligns together right so um, we've done that then you know what let's just go ahead and download these icons again export the icon download This this year, so this is going to be one. This is going to be two. All right, so this is going to be let just you can limit whatever I want to limit. I'll just let me one two. It's going to be three, and let's just copy and start. Um, download this one first. I think this is just a run stuff, it's going to be four. Okay, paste this three. Sorry. Three and it's going to be a four. Okay. So what I wanna do is um right right after here. Right after here, you can go ahead and do sorry. Yeah, the margin top of eight. Yeah, we should be flex. So for each flex, we want a grid. Hopefully you understand the use of the flex grid and everything will be then is more grid. Then one the first thing is the image. It's going to be images one dot png. They want a span of text. I see. I don't know what is this is. I see that. 
it takes to assist this. Save this and check it out. So we have that. So two. We can just go ahead and add a PR here. Alright, good. So we have this already. Um we reduce the image size, I think so. It beats by doing 50 pixels. No, 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 no. 150. Alright, so fair enough, 150 is okay. Um yeah, we can just copy all this. Space, space, space. So it is four. The other one is two. And it is um design. Design. Then this one is going to be this one. So this would be the user need to break from here is going to be develop and it's going to be theory <laughs> i just copied this one again so let's make it develop sorry develop let's copy the text here Okay, then last one is deploy. It's going to be four. Then is this right? Yeah. Can't believe I just copied this again. All right, so save this and let's check it out. Seems okay, but why is 150 like that for this? You know, there are different pictures. Let's try 50. Pictures. Okay, I think 50 pictures seems okay. Then let's do item center space X or 4. Right, seems okay. So far, it's so much. Let's do 2. Right. Um, so so class should be text SM. Right, so let's make it small let's make a lot of small text. Okay. Alright, so yeah. This seems okay. And um, I feel like there should be a break here somehow. Yes, yeah, something like this. There we go. Go ahead and just increase increase this space x to four. All right. Yeah. So this is okay. Then the last thing I'm gonna be doing is our uh, but the last and I kept mentioning last last and last <laughs> we're gonna be doing this I'm just gonna copy this and I'm going to close this one so this is going to be div margin top of let's say 20 and it's going to be a grid and uh, we're gonna span text should be 4 XL one should be both so we want that and uh, we want this to be place item center all right so place item center so that's what we have um like i used to say we can add this in a in a width Plus width so W was our width so let's give you 500 pixels. Save this, check it out, 
and yep yeah 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 yeah, yeah. let's do 600 pixels actually that of of thing pixels 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 and so on and so forth refresh okay seems okay can i do text center from here All right, works well. And then we need also this. So this will be, I think this is class X extra small. Okay. Um, okay, BR, BR. Okay, the grid is not there, so let's just do BR. It seems okay. Yeah, the adding top of one. Okay, good. The last one is this booking message. So initially we have done this booking message before. Just gonna copy it. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry. Just trying to find out what it is. Book a message. Book a meeting, I mean. Say book a message. <laughs> right, so it's supposed to be down here. Uh, which is after this one, we can do padding, padding top of six. This is uh, save it. Uh, let's check it out. Right, nice. Once that is done, let's create this long line. You can go and do DIV for the W should be full. All right, so now we have a long line like this. We have a padding top of let's say four. Add it up of four. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, not okay actually. Six. Then let's do border one. So that is the border with border width of one. The border width of zero point five. Okay. Um, we can add arbitrary value. Zero point five pixels. All right. Uh, we can just let's just finish it by doing border with five hundred. Let's add a colon now. Fresh. Okay. Good. So we have all these icons. No, I'm, I'm going to add the previous icons that we have before. Yes, I'm going to add the previous icons that we have before because uh, I don't want to go and download all those stuff again. It's kind of stressful actually. <laughs> so it is um exactly so this code is flex already. Okay, what we need dead. The last part of the code. Padding top of let's look at seeds. Let's say four. This is here. All right, good. So there you have it. Um, we can just add a little bit padding top six. Okay. So the last minute is just all this. All right. So we need to do. Padding. No, no padding. Imagine top of 24. We need a span. So we put this. Oh, so what is this? What is it? Sorry. I'm going to copy this text. You know what? It is 
sweet food idea i know what is written there so let me just type it out big food all right save this and let's check it we have sweet food in that place um so the case here is we are not supposed to be inside this div here so it's an entire div on its own so um let's close this div let's paste this here okay good sorry um then we can go ahead and do text let's make it large extra large one should be bold all right so what a bold font very nice we can go ahead and flex viv dot flex The first one is about to full, so we can go ahead and use pan about to full. We have um span also this one. Then we have a button text <laughs> dot there with a pattern top of two button text span button what is this button text okay so initially we are supposed to cut this we have to format this right so we have button text right here so we have another div okay in this space so let's first take a look at this so this is what we have now i'm going to cut this by engagement i just use br in this case engagement and yeah All right seems okay let's make it class text should be small okay all right seems okay then we're gonna have a flex over this character that i get So we can get our div flex of span career i'm just going to leave a few because initially this is supposed to be a um a grid actually so let's do div grid there we can have our flex inside let's copy this so you can go ahead and change this actually showing you so we have flex flex exactly then when we have this flex here we can go ahead and do justify between justify between here all right then for this one you can do space x of let's say eight as you can see also we have flex space of eight beautiful then then lastly um space y this y of four okay then um for this next part i believe we can just use a uh, hr let us use hr let's see what happens hr yes exactly what we need is adding top of let's say four okay then this you can just put this anywhere you want so div adding top of six save this which is in the true form here br then um before that you need a span that says text should be small this is save and voila so we are done with the third part oh we are saying many this part so let's have a span again now should be text sm and this should be flex then justify between don't forget to always item center 
item center are beautiful so as you can see we are done with the third part of the website of the tutorial i mean all right so please if you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell to know when i upload new videos see you next time god bless you god bless you peace